Puerto Rico, the island nation that is also one of America's non-continental beachfront properties, is and is also most famously known for being confused for Cuba, has been protesting their governor. The island nation is a United States territory and has been in economic decline due to bad political investments and natural disasters. And instead of sending like real aid after the disasters, we had Trump playing catch with the citizens of the island with paper towels. And this is fucked up for a lot of different reasons, okay? First of all, Puerto Rico didn't really need paper towels, but an electrical grid and medical aid. Secondly, it's really unfair that he played catch with these islanders and not his own kid. You know, I mean, Baron Trump is is in that perfect age to have this mentally scar him forever. You know, I wouldn't I wouldn't be surprised if in the future we saw him kind of cook up some schemes to really take down Puerto Rico when, and and be real disappointed that that America has already taken down Puerto Rico. But in the last few weeks, Puerto Rico has been amidst a lot of protests because of leaked telegrams about their former mayor, former governor, Ricky Rosseo. Rosseo made homophobic remarks, joked about shooting San Juan's mayor, and called a New York City council speaker a puta, or whore, and even made fun of Ricky Martin. I mean, really? R Ricky Martin? He he's like a hack comedian that can't write jokes or legislation about current stripes, so he targets icons from the early 2000s and the late 90s. I mean, what's next? Are you going to talk about M Monica Lewinsky or Y2K? Super edgy, bro. I can't wait to see his George Shelby Bush impression. Calling for the assassination of a mayor and calling a city council speaker a whore, among other things, was the final straw for the people of the island nation who were sick of being treated as... Well, I would say second-class citizens, but you have to be considered a citizen by the country that owns you. Amidst the name-calling, Ricky also got caught in financial fraud, spending money on enriching his already rich friends and political allies rather than funding projects to fix the nation after two hurricanes. I mean, his theory must be that when the next natural disaster comes through, he'll just pay it to leave. You know, just give it, cut it a check. That's what these hurricanes want. They just want spending money. You know, and this must be why, after natural disasters, low-income neighborhoods are affected the most. You know, it's because they can't pay for protection from nature, who is clearly out to extort our society. Protesters called Ricky called for Ricky and the Junta to step down. The Junta, for those of you that are unfamiliar with that term, because I was, is a military or political force that rules a nation after taking it over by force. It's basically like the schoolyard bullying of coups, right? Stop economically castrating yourself. Stop economically castrating yourself. Stop economically castrating yourself. Because of the economic state of Puerto Rico and it being a United States territory, which you might as well say that it's a colony because the nation itself doesn't have any autonomy, especially about whether it does or doesn't declare bankruptcy. It's the opposite of Trump and the American banking industry. I mean, they've claimed bankruptcy a bunch, and I'm assuming a few times it was just to let us know that they are still morally bankrupt. But in order to help, the United States put together the Puerto Rico Oversight Management and Economic Stability Act, which made a plan for the kind of bankruptcy that we saw. This group appointed the island's budgets to the junta and was put together not by the people of Puerto Rico, but by the Obama administration. The junta, or how they refer to themselves, the board, consists of a former GW official, a conservative think tank scholar, and lawyers who essentially have shifted the course of power from the city councils to themselves. So basically, this board has privatized the island nation of Puerto Rico. And calling themselves the board makes them sound like a supervillain group that correspondingly wears Hugo Boss suits to destabilize economies. I mean, this would make like the least fun Marvel movie of all time. You know, a lot of it would just be rich people laughing at poverty and 
pocketing all the money they saved by having to not spend it on a special effects budget or Robert Downey Jr.'s beard comber. The board is basically the cult of trust funds that owns an island thanks to the Obama administration that Trump is now using to play catch with paper towels in an attempt to fill the void in his heart that his father left. Ricky did step down, leading the way for the Secretary of Justice, Wanda Vasquez, to take over for that spot. But Vasquez is a personal friend of Ricky Rosseo, so it doesn't leave much hope for anything different to take place in Puerto Rico. These protests were about getting real representation for the people of Puerto Rico, not someone that is placed in a position of power by some oversight committee, overseeing, well, nothing. They more or less there to make sure the status quo of ensuring the rich get richer stay in place. This is a call for Puerto Rico to spend money on community investments and ensuring the people are accurately represented.